Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Mark 1 OpenTX based radio to a Mark 2 Edge TX based radio. Before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who asked for this video on Patreon.com. So thank you guys for the suggestion. I'm glad I'm able to help. All right, let's set the stage real quick. I've got an OpenTX radio. This is a Mark I. This is one of my original radios, and I'm running OpenTX. I'll hit the model select button and show you that I've got a couple of models set up on this radio. I've got a Katana, a Dart 250, an Escapade MX, and I've also got a Heli category with my Tron 7. The other thing I'll show you real quick is the radio setting. So I'm going to just move into the radio settings and show you that I've got a global function that says, when SB is up, play track bank zero. Now, the reason I showed you that is to show you that I have settings and models on this radio. And that's what we're gonna convert over to the new radio, okay? So I have a couple of models and I have a few radio settings already established. Now I'm gonna show you the fastest way possible to make this conversion. What we're gonna do is take the USB cable that came with your radio and we'll plug it into the top port, just like that. And on the screen, you should see an option for USB joystick or USB storage. I'm gonna select USB storage and that will bring a window up on my computer that grants me access to the SD card. Once your computer mounts your SD card, you'll see two windows. One will have a couple of files called firmware.bin and firmware.txt. Close that out. You don't want anything to do with that. What we're looking for is a card that's got firmware, images, logs, models, radio. That's, that lets you know you're in the right spot. And what we're interested in on this SD card are three folders. We want to grab the images folder. So I'm just going to drag this. Now, the reason we're grabbing the images folder is in, in the event you saved any kind of custom images on your radio for your planes, you want those in your new radio. So we're going to grab the images folder. We're going to grab the models folder. And I'm going to show you what's inside. Notice I've only got binary files in here. That's OpenTX. OpenTX uses binary files. Edge as a version 2.6, which is what comes on the Mark II, 2.6 or higher, it uses YAML files, but I'm gonna show you that we're gonna go through the conversion. So I'm gonna grab the models file or folder. The last folder we're interested in is called radio. And in the radio folder, we've got two files, one called models.txt and the other called radio.bin. Models.txt is nothing more than a table of contents. So notice I've got a category planes with three binaries and I've got a category heli with one binary. Those are the category and model pages that you see in the model select screen. Okay, that's how OpenTX does it. The last file is called radio.bin. That's where your settings are located. So all your radio settings, any global functions you set up, those are all in your radio settings. Any ranges that you set for your battery, your beeper settings, your haptic feedback, all of that stuff goes in radio.bin. So we're gonna grab the radio folder and drag that onto our desktop. We're, we're now done with the OpenTX radio. You can unplug it and set it aside. You no longer need the OpenTX radio. We're finished with it. I've restored the factory contents on my Mark I. This is the way the Mark I comes out of the box. So I've restored my factory contents. I'll show you my models real quick. I've got the Aero, the Delta, the OMP Hobby M2, a quad. I've got helicopters and I've got some aircraft in Ishin P51. This is the way the Mark II comes from the factory running Edge TX 2.6, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to plug my, same deal, I'm gonna plug my USB cable into the top of the radio, USB-C, that connects it to my computer, and I will select USB storage, it's the middle option, okay? So I encourage you to back up your radio before you start fooling around with it, so before you do anything else, take a copy of the contents of these SD cards and store them somewhere safe, that way if you mess something up, you can always start over again. Okay, the Mark II will do the same thing. You'll get two windows that pop up. One ha has firmware files in it. We don't care about those. Close that. And then notice we've got the same kind of card structure on the Mark II. So on this SD card in the models directory, notice that we've got models that end in the file extension YML. That stands for YAML. And down here at the bottom, we have a file called models.yaml. That is your table of contents for your models. That's the way they do it on Edge TX. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it. I'm just going to delete this because I don't care about their stock models. I want that gone. So we're going to get rid of that. Note in the radio folder, notice we've got a file called radio YAML. Those are the radio settings on Edge TX. We're going to get rid of this folder. We're just going to delete it. Goodbye. It's gone. We're also going to get rid of the images folder because I've got a whole bunch of images I don't want on my radio. So we're going to kill that. 
just kill that. And I'm going to show you a little pro tip since we're in here anyway. We're going to go in the sounds directory and get rid of everything. In my case, I speak English, so I'm going to get rid of everything but the EN folder. If you speak German or Czech or Chinese or French or Spanish or Italian or Portuguese or Russian, you want to keep one of those folders, but you can get rid of everything else. So just get rid of it. It's all junk, all extra space. You just don't need it. So just get rid of the languages you don't speak. I'll let this run and we'll come back when it's done deleting. Okay, with our sound card cleaned up, the last thing to do is copy our OpenTX information onto our Edge TX card. So I'm gonna grab my radio models and images folder and drag them onto my SD card for Edge TX and just let them go. With the copy complete, the next thing to do is disconnect the USB cable from the radio. And what's gonna happen is the radio is gonna do a conversion for you. So notice I've got this SD card conversion required message. What that means is it's gonna take my binary files from my OpenTX configuration and convert them to YAML. It's also gonna convert my radio settings from the binary format and convert them to YAML. So I'll hit SD card conversion required. I'm gonna hit the little arrow on the screen. See the conversion screen occurs. I've got model four. And now it looks like I don't have a model there, but I really do because this is one of the downsides of converting to Edge TX is that you lose your widget settings, but that does not mean your models are gone. So I'm gonna click on my jog dial and I'll hit model select and notice I still have my planes category. It's right there and all of my models are there, Katana, Dart, and Escapade. Those are the same ones from the OpenTX radio. I'll click the next page and notice I've got my helicopter. That's my Tron 7. That's now on this radio. So I'll select that one. I've got a throttle warning error message because I need to do a calibration. That's the next thing we'll do, but I've got my model selected. Now to prove the point, we're gonna go into the Tele page down here on the bottom left, and I'm gonna hit set up widgets. I'm gonna click on this open spot right here. I'll select widget, and I'm gonna choose my model. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is select a widget, and I'm gonna add a timer, timer one. So there is my Tron 7, just like it was on OpenTX with all of my settings intact. Now, this isn't an actual working configuration, but notice I've got aileron elevator. It was just a quick dummy configuration, but the settings are there. The next thing I want to show you is I'm going to click on the system button and show you the global function. Remember, I showed you the one with SB up. So we'll click on global function and there it is. SB up, play track, bank zero, don't repeat on startup. So that shows you that my models from OpenTX 2.3.15 are now converted to Edge TX 2.6. The last thing we need to do is a calibration. Don't forget to do this step. Just go to the calibration screen, hit calibrate, press enter to start. The first thing you need to do is center all your sticks and pots. So put everything in its middle position. You don't want to skip this step. Very important to do this because your hardware from your OpenTX radio can be a little different than the hardware on your Edge TX radio. And your Mark 1 might be slightly different than your Mark 2. So you do not want to skip this step. So center everything up, press go, move your sticks to their full extent. You don't have to slam them, just barely touch the edge in every direction for your stick, up, down, left and right on both sticks. Then move your sliders to their full extent, all the way up, all the way down. Move your pots to their full extent, all the way counterclockwise and clockwise. And then don't forget to do your six position switch. Once you've completed your calibration, you shouldn't get error warnings anymore about your throttle not being at minimum if it actually is. So if I hit reset flight, there we go. No more error messages about my throttle. Okay, we've got one more bit of cleanup to do just because I wanna make sure you guys keep yourself straight as you move forward with Edge TX. So I'm gonna reconnect the radio to the computer by connecting my USB cable up top. I'll hit USB storage. And what we need to do now, there's two things that we need to do. One, we're gonna get rid of the binary files because we don't want any confusion about what the radio is actually seeing. So we're gonna get rid of those binary files and then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the latest version of Companion for Edge TX. So I'm gonna go in my models folder. Notice how I've got these bin files. We don't need those anymore. Those are gone, deleted, they're gone. That's open TX, we don't use that on Edge TX. We can also go into our radio folder and we can get rid of this radio bin file and we can get rid of models.txt, it's no longer needed. Just to prove the point, I'm gonna disconnect the USB cable from my radio and we should be left with a Tron 7 and I can go into my model select screen and pick other models like my Katana, 
there's my katana. Remember, I have to set up the widget, right? Don't forget to do that. So we'll just do a, a real quick widget. We'll do models there, and there you should see my katana show up. So there we go. There's my katana. And again, if we look at our system settings and I go over to my global settings, you still see I've got global function one, SB up plays bank zero. So we've eliminated the radio.binary file. We now just have radio.yaml, and we've converted completely from models.bin to models.yaml for our model files. The last thing you want to do is go to the Edge TX GitHub. I'll have a link in the description. Scroll down to the bottom and grab the latest version of Companion for your radio and your firmware. So if you're on 2.6, which is what the Mark II ships with, you want to use Companion 2.6. If you go ahead and upgrade to the latest, which is 2.7.1, you'll want to use Companion for 2.7.1. So if you use Companion, don't forget to update. If you use Companion prior to 2.6, it will not be able to read these YAML files. It's super important that you upgrade Companion so that if you're running 2.6 or later, you have to use Companion 2.6 or later. If you don't, you're going to be massively confused about the rate what the radio is doing because Companion is going to want to talk in binary files and the radio is going to want to talk in YAML. So it's hugely important to upgrade Companion to 2.6 or later if you're running a firmware on Edge TX that's 2.6 or later. Do not keep using Companion 2.5. Bad idea. It's going to cause you problems. All right, that's all I've got on how to convert your old OpenTX models and settings to a new RadioMaster TX16S Mark II running Edge TX 2.6 or later. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.